I don't imagine there's anybody else that even knows this, that the waterfront from the wharf out to the Four Mile Creek were, was allocated to the fishermen, the actual waterfront, in terms of rights. Uh, they were called, I'm not sure that they were called a holding. And so, for example, the first holding, I'll use that term, I'm not sure of it, went from the wharf to Ball Street. And the second holding went from Ball Street to King Street, and then from King Street to where, all the way out to the Four Mile Creek. Uh, my family actually held the one from Ball Street to King Street, which makes sense when you think of the property, and another one which was very significant was they held the one across the mouth of the Two Mile Creek, which was a very valuable holding because the whitefish used to run up into the creek. So they had the best possible spot. For and what they did, uh, principally the fishing industry was a gillnet fishing industry that I remember, the kind of like it's a wall that's set up out very, very deep. But they ran seine nets uh, along the shoreline and it would consist of a, a five-man crew and they'd put the net in the water at King Street and then there would be four men in the boat and they would row upstream to Ball, to Ball Street and there would be two men rowing, one man paying out the net and another man steering. So that's the four in the boat and they would pull this net uh, along and then when they got up to Ball Street, the end of the the upper river end of their holding, they would pull it in towards shore. The fifth man would be on shore and there was a windlass that would be fixed on shore. And using that windlass, they would drag the net into shore. So they would drag the net into shore from King Street all the way up to Ball Street. And any of the fish that were caught, of course, in the net were harvested. And that is something that is not known. Um, about the fishing industry. One other thing is there were um, there was fishing up at Queenston, I forget what they call them, but they had nets that projected way out over the river in the rapids up there and it was principally run by the native peoples. So that's an addition about the fishing industry. Another one I can tell you is sturgeon, about sturgeon. They weren't worth a lot because the locals didn't understand what the roe was worth. They didn't understand that it became caviar in those days. But uh, my dad talks about rowing from Niagara Lake to Queenston. I don't know how he did it. Um, and they would have drop lines, <clears throat> and it was a baited line that was dropped down to the bottom, and then they would slowly have to pick the line up. A sturgeon have a very soft mouth. And so if they picked it up too fast, the sturgeon would shake the line, they'd get off the line. So the whole business was to bring them to the surface where they could gaff them. My dad talked about getting sturgeon so big he could not get them in the boat, catch them that big. So that's a bit more about the fishing industry.